Hey guys, Aspire here and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about some Elder Scrolls 6 news. Now you know me, I love my Elder Scrolls, particularly Skyrim. That is my favourite of all the Elder Scrolls games. And a big part of why I like Skyrim comes down to, well, a lot of it being the music, the atmosphere of the game which is the main topic of today's video. The composer for Skyrim, Oblivion and Morrowind, Jeremy Soule, has currently not been asked to return and isn't currently involved with Elder Scrolls 6. This news comes from an article on VG247, so let's get right into it. Now this news was announced by Jeremy Soule on his Facebook page, which reads in this post, as so many of my fans have asked, while I have not said much about this out of courtesy to Bethesda, I would never turn my back on the Elder Scrolls, and I believe that my involvement would hinge on a creative decision on their part and where they want to take the franchise. To confirm, I am not currently involved with the Elder Scrolls 6. He then continues his statement in a comment below. I normally mark comments I've read with a like, but I don't want to appear to be taking sides in this. As Bethesda have said, the Elder Scrolls 6 is still a long ways out. My non-involvement at this stage isn't necessarily an indicator of anything foreboding, but whatever happens, it's been a privilege for me to have made music for you with the series for all of these years. It's been a joy to create these musical emotions and custom fit them into the world of the Elder Scrolls. I'm proud of the work that I've done and all of the artists who have made their own beautiful variations of my work, such as Malu Maluka? I probably butchered that. Yikes. And most of all, I'm honoured to have seen how this music has served in ways I could never have imagined. The heartfelt stories of this music accompany people in hospitals, weddings, and even funerals, as well as the stories of how people will reach to this music in times of depression and anxiety. All of this is humbling for me. Thank you, and wind guide you. So that was Jeremy Soule's statement on whether or not he'll be returning for Elder Scrolls 6, and personally, while it is true that the Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be most likely a long way off, I really do hope that he returns. But the general tone of the post and his comments in general kind of make it sound like that may not be the case this time around. Which if that's so, that's really sad. Now I haven't played too much of Oblivion and I never actually got around to playing Morrowind as I wasn't even aware of RPGs existing at that time. Um, and my Elder Scrolls experience primarily being with Skyrim. I can say, just from my point of view, that when it comes to why I enjoyed Skyrim so much, it was definitely, like, a big part of it was due to the atmosphere in the game. Now, obviously, with Skyrim, the atmosphere in general is interesting. I mean, it's a fantasy world. Of course, you're going to be drawn into that. But what made it so interesting, or just endearing I guess you could say was the music the music that you're probably hearing in the background during this video I love it to bits there are I have a lot of favorites from uh, the soundtrack I listen to it at least once a week when I can't sleep or if I'm working on scripts or videos just or just having something to you know hear in the background while I do random things in my office or my room the soundtrack is really unique and it's part of what made my, my time in Skyrim such a fun one. I have quite a few favourites from the soundtrack. I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but Frostfall, uh, Dawn, I believe, is another one. Um, Se Secunda, Secunda, I think that's how you pronounce it. Just those three, just they spring to mind immediately. Sovngarde. The music that plays when you enter Sovngarde for the first time when you're on the main quest line, it's so good. It really just gets you very pumped and ready to go and like it was it, it made that entering that for the first time like so cool. And the thought of not having Jeremy Soul return is quite sad. Uh, if that's the case, I'll definitely be disappointed. Now we know recently for other Elder Scrolls related things, Fallout composer Einan Zur has been creating the OST for Elder Scrolls Blades, so potentially he might be the one that will be stepping in in Jeremy Soul's place if he doesn't return to Elder Scrolls 6. And don't get me wrong, Einan Zur is a bloody brilliant composer, but Jeremy Soul has been with the series for so long, it's going to be strange not having his music in the game, I think. I don't know about you guys, but I know for me personally, that music is definitely what made 
Skyrim great for me and I'm sure for you guys that have played Oblivion and Morrowind it's definitely a big part of why you like those games as well. Hell, even some of the Oblivion songs I listen to and they're so good. I love them. They're peaceful and soothing. There's a lot of love and care put into the music of the Elder Scrolls in general and Regardless of whether or not Jeremy Sol returns, I wish him all the best in his future endeavours and if he decides to come back to the Elder Scrolls, absolutely fantastic. Anyway, that is it for all the news that I have today. I just wanted to do a quick little video on this and just share my thoughts and the news in general. So I hope you guys did bleh. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'd love to know what you guys are thinking down in the comments below. Are you also fans of Jeremy Soule's music from the previous Elder Scrolls games? Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, do you like that music as well? Would you be sad if he left? As always, just let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And yeah, just overall, I, I kind of hope that it isn't the case, but you know, if so, you know, all the best to Jeremy Soul and whatever he does in the near future. Consider supporting me on Patreon as it feels to grow for my content's quality and the variety and production of said content that you guys get to see all here on the channel. And of course, a massive thank you to my current patrons, of course. They are Cosmironic, Nicholas Montoya, Caroline Richardson, Coolidora, and Kay. And if you want to see your name shouted out at the end of the video like these guys, do hop over onto Patreon and have a look around at the cool rewards on offer. Anyway, it is Icewire signing off and I'll see you in later next time on the channel. Have a love and slash night with you are in the world and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!